Hey everybody, Jay Marino here. Welcome back. It's Age of Empires 2 Definitive Edition. Continuing the Saladin campaign. Mission 5, Jihad! With an exclamation point. Please don't demonetize me, YouTube. Tiberius, 20 and a half years of bloodshed. We're far from the ocean, so the Saracens interpret the smell of salt and commotion of seabirds as signs from heaven. I sit near Saladin's tent, watching the butchery below. Saracen horse archers sweep through yet another disorganized mob of European soldiers. The great crusader nations have been reduced to puny city-states. Only Tiberius, Tyre, and Ascalon are still in crusader hands. Nonetheless, these three cities are well fortified and could withstand any siege. Saladin has had many victories on the open desert, but the crusader castles are unparalleled. If he is victorious now, the Holy Land will belong to the Saracens again. A failure could mean even more decades of carnage. One v three, perhaps. Seems like it's just going to be us versus three well-fortified towns. Defeat any two of the three Crusader cities. All right. Saladin is restricted to a hundred pop. You can trade with the village of Hebron as long as it survives. Remember, you only need to defeat two enemy cities. Saladin controls a fortified town near the coast, but initially short on soldiers. Ebron is a small village in the center of the map with a market. It has no means of defending itself and could be an easy target for your enemies. I see it. Yellow is your most threatening enemy. is located on a fortified island, island to the north. Maybe we can finally use our galleon sieve bonus. They occasionally attack with galleons, fire ships, and cannon galleons. They will also send in transport ships full of mangonels, bombard cannons, and cataphracts from time to time. That is rough. So that's that's a Byzantine sieve, right, with the cataphracts? Tiberius is a city to the east. They will field camel riders, knights, and battering rams. So it seems like we could take out Tiberius relatively simply with Mamluks, they said to the east. Ascalon is a stronghold in the very south of the map. Their initial army consists of cavaliers, crossbowmen, and onagers, and they will also have some warships. Ascalon will behave defensively and will not besiege your city. Okay. Tripoli Guards command a small army of knights, crossbowmen, and siege equipment and have no means of replenishing their forces, however. Okay, so let's kind of get a sense of what's going on here. Amrun Hassanan. So we're, we're walled, but we have no... Naam Hattabun Sahih. I mean, one thing I've been getting in the habit of doing is getting early TCs. I see. I see. Okay, so let's get some fishing ships. I see. Okay, so if we can get this set up, and then we have some lumber income here, maybe we'll extend the walls further out and around. And then our food income will focus on by using ships. How about that? Do I have a market? I do. We're going to need to build some stuff to defend ourselves here early. Probably want to grab uh, crossbowmen relatively early as well. What I might do is... Maybe use my ship to, like, look around. Let's do that. We can also trade up here. Yeah, there's plenty of fish around here. Plenty of fish in the sea, you know what I'm saying? Okay, let's get some workers on gold down here. Let's just keep... Let's just go ahead and make tons of workers. Uh, and then our food income, again, is going to be mostly ships. Uh, but again, there, there's nowhere for me to, to get lumber income, so I needed to get a TC set up here pretty early for that. And then these can make farms eventually. But I don't know what the fishing is like. The reason that I sent out a ship like this is to reveal as much of the the, the sea as possible. I assume this is the Mediterranean. Because I don't know if they'll continue. No, 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 no. I need, I need that lumber. Well, I mean, I need the stone also. And I need more fishing boats. Because we can, I mean, we can make fishing farms as well. I, I get, if, if they can't see any fish in the fog, they won't, like, go out and look for more is what I'm saying. So that's why I'm, like, revealing it all now. Probably a more effective way of doing this. Maybe we put a castle, like, right here if it'll fit, because that can cover the coastline as, as boats come in here. Because they said... Located on a fortified island to the north. Right, so they'll be coming down the coast here. So again, a castle right there seems ideal to me. Okay. 
I'm kind of, and I, I'm making mostly fishing ships, so it's going to be hard to defend those. And apparently, fishing ships work the fastest of all, like, methods to harvest food. The problem is, again, they have, like, a travel time. So we probably want to grab, uh, gill nets quick and early. But again, it's just getting the, the workers to get a lot of, uh, a lot of food here. Do we get any sort of benefit for them trading with us? Because I sort of think probably not. Kind of an interesting start here, that's for sure. Um, what I'm going to do is pull some of these folks off gold to get some farms, because we still I would like some consistent food income on land, please. And then I'm going to need some units pretty early as well, so maybe we grab some camel riders when we can afford them. Again, we need food. I can get some more fishing ships as well. Uh, and then I should probably start getting some galleons and upgrading them. And again, maybe, I, I mean, I can delete these two houses and cram a, a castle right on the edge there. And then maybe we want to just extend our walls to go up and past this gold and around. But I, I don't have nearly as much stone as I did last time, so there's that. Okay, kind of an interesting setup here for what is available in terms of resources. Okay. So again, we got a good amount of fishing ships, and there's plenty of fish, as far as I can tell. I would, again, really like to get that... I'd really like to get that castle out, though, so let's maybe focus on that. And then we could trade with, with Cyan, or, or not, I don't really know. Keep making workers... Actually, what I would really like are those fishing nets things. It's 150 food, so I can't afford that. Let's get fishing nets, or gill nets, and then just start focusing on getting units. Maybe just get some crossbowmen and, uh, and camels where possible. Come on, I just need a couple. Yeah, there we go. So that'll help our food income, I think, tremendously. I'm just gonna, again, keep kind of moving out here and looking for more fish. No. Why don't we get some cab archers, because we've got the gold for it. Get some knights and, and camel riders, I guess. I just want some... I just need some units, like, ASAP. I'm really nervous. Okay, yeah, keep looking for us, buddies. Keep making workers, or villagers, what have you. Okay, and I do have a blacksmith. Maybe getting Bodkin Arrow early would be nice. Again, food is a particular problem because of the... I mean, relying heavily on fishing ships. I'd like to avoid that for now. Or I'd like to move away from that eventually. We can get farms out here. And again, if we get a castle right here, and then we extend the walls, that should keep us pretty well defended. But that would require two castles, which I certainly don't have right now. Or what I can't afford right now. Get a camel rider. Okay, yeah, I don't think gold chef mining is required right now, though I would like hand cart. Uh, I'm going to save because, again, no, no one's attacked me yet, but, again, at any time, we could get absolutely roasted. I am building stuff, but is it enough stuff? I really couldn't say. We could upgrade our crossbowmen, or we just keep getting camel riders and cav archers, I guess. Go heavy cav archers, or we start upgrading crossbowmen and such. Yeah, the inability to, yeah, like the inability to have much lumber income from the beginning here is pretty rough. And I'm just going to keep putting workers on gold and then transitioning them off for farms. And then eventually maybe we can just uh, sack a bunch of these fishing ships when we don't need them anymore. Okay, and we'll just pull off a bunch of workers here eventually. Uh, let's get a... 
Let's get scout cavalry real quick. Mm. I mean, I can get some normal Charge! archers. Oh. So that's Tripoli guards. Didn't they say... Let me... I gotta check. keep checking this. They have no means of replenishing their forces. So they just have, like, some stuff. Okay. But where are they coming from? Oh, there they are. Get the onagers first. Where are they going? They're not gonna be able to get in. Just, just kill the onagers. That's all I care about. Okay, the rest of you get in there. Cool. Thumb ring time. I don't know where this thing is going, but... No? No? <laughs> Damn. Okay, it wasn't quite enough. Get some can- Oh, I got some- I, I do have some units here. They followed me in. Okay, camel riders, get him. Alright, he's not gonna be able to destroy that. They still- they still got me. Oh, hello. Okay, so I guess what I could do, well, I, I don't need to I don't need to upgrade that right now. Now that I know that that's going to happen, oh, bombard cannons. Yeah, this is definitely where we want a castle. Now that I know that this is coming, why don't we just load from where we were and just focus on building units and nothing else? Right? We don't need that much more stuff, I don't think. Maybe some halb maybe some spearmen would be okay against those knights. And we know that that group doesn't build anything else. Right? So, let's just get some spearmen. We know that they're coming from this direction. Okay, and then, we yeah, we know that that's coming too. Yeah, food, food seems to be the, a consistent issue here. Uh, I could go pikemen. I don't think skirmishers are necessary at all. I'm just gonna go camel riders and... Yeah, some melee units in general. I can get some skirmishers to help me take care of those units. Uh, and then, we, yeah, we want to chase down any anything that they run out at me with here later. Keep making workers. Are any of these available for you to farm from? Okay, so here they come again. And again, we know that they're on their way right now. Alright, so we want to go for these Maganels first. Skirmishers go for the crossbowmen. I love it when they attack you with, uh, with rams. Like, I find it very endearing. Okay, I guess get some, just get some men-at-arms. We gotta chase around these other units. Okay, then over here. Okay, you guys take care of this. No, it's not gonna fit there, but that's okay because but I'm gonna I'm gonna delete the archery range. Cause I can rebuild that. 
I mean, I could have rebuilt, rebuilt the houses as well. Okay, I'm gonna keep getting camel riders, and let's uh, let's go. Yeah, just like that. Bone saw. All you guys with stone, get on here and just protect and just keep um, building this faster. Iron casing, casting, what have you. Again, if we can get this finished in time, that would be awesome. Mm, even just getting one monk. Alright, let's go castle. And then again, maybe we get one right over here as well. Uh, and then we have to d just decide, like, where are we going to attack? Eventually, again, this coastline is not going to be very safe, so I'm a little skeptical at how this is going to go eventually. So there's not going to be enough stone in general, I think, to support what I need to do. Okay, cool. It's done. You guys get on this stone thing, and let's go another monk. Did yellow attack us this time? Also, has yellow, like, killed all my fishing boats? I don't think so. Hey, that's cool. Okay, so let's start upgrading our boats. And we can start getting Mamluks now. We can't afford too many of them, but... Heal me. Heal me. Heal, heal me. Okay, cool. I guess I'll go ahead and start my own trade route here. <laughs> okay, well that's where we gotta go first. It's gotta happen. So I'm gonna stick to my plan. First off, um, I would like light cavalry. Second off, I am going to make walls. Like this. Might take some time, but that's okay. Yeah, heal me up, buddy. And then we can remake archery range. Ah! That's a, that's a lot of rams. We might save it. I think we're going to save it. Holy shit. Okay. Now get over here and help with the walls. We can cram a castle in right there. Do it like this. Uh, I don't have any other stone. I don't have access to any other stone. Oh, I made some men at arms. Don't need those anymore. Uh Okay, yeah. So they're still they're still coming in with like mangonels and stuff. Yellow seems like they're gonna be particularly pr pr particularly challenging. Yeah, okay, Mam Mamluk's definitely the right choice here, I think. And again, we want to just make sure that we still have this monk here out of combat helping us out. We'll get a gate here, another gate over here. Um, and then we can trade for stone, I suppose. Especially because we have access to more gold here. Okay, and I don't know if we want to just like expand around this whole section or not. Okay, I guess we want to probably go to Imperial Age here sooner or later, and we probably want to, again, continue to upgrade boats. So like, there are fish out here for you all to fish from. I don't know what you're doing. 
Or we can or we can just do fish farms. That's fine with me. Uh okay. Again, so we like sort of survived this whole situation. It was dicey. Let's go ahead and start upgrading to um, cancel that. Let's go ahead and upgrade to Imperial Age. We're gonna need even more wood, so I may actually just expand out here to the right, like down here. Let's do that now. I mean, I have a lot of wood, so why don't we sell? That's a, that's a pretty good rate for wood as well. Okay. And then let's go ahead and see if we can cram a castle right here. We can. And then let's get a university. Build over the road sign. Okay, cool. So, we have castles on both sides of our base. This covers the sea, sort of. Right, and then we're going into Imperial Age. So I'm going to save again. I have an okay army right now. It's not super great. Uh, we need more food if we want to continue getting blacksmith upgrades. Pretty happy with what we've got, though, in general. Don't, don't just... They're just running by me. What a bunch of assholes. Okay, so head on down here. Again, I'm not sure what I expected. <laughs> Demo ships just blowing themselves up. Okay, well, if we want Galleon, we need Imperial Age. So, unfortunately, again, our sea defenses are not gonna are not gonna be able to handle this. They have actual Galleons. I don't have the income to make too much more in terms of boats. I'm trying to get this set back up. Now we can get thumb ring and crossbowmen and then eventually arbalisters. Uh, I can't do anything about this right now. Um, okay, there's Imperial Age, which means we can get to galleons. Um, let's go ahead and grab some farms around this location now. Okay, cool. I mean, it's not cool. This isn't great, but, um, you know, we do what we have to do. So, let's... Oh, they must have killed my workers that were all working down there, I suppose. Again, food is going to be our perpetual issue. I, I should have transitioned more. I, I built up an army here, and I built up my castles, and what I should have done was focused more on um, defending my outlying borders here instead. All right, two-man saw. And not enough food. I do have a bunch of gold, though. Let me build one demo ship and see if maybe I can blast that. Oh, I built a trade cog? Jay Barino, what are you doing? Come on up here. Quick! This way! Okay, and then I would like a worker repairing this. Uh, university. I can do nothing with, actually. Let's say, was it the demo ships that ended up hitting this that did, like, a ton of damage to it? Or is it because they have, like, chemistry and stuff? Oh, that's what it is. Okay, I see. I mean, I could delete these and get a, another castle down here. Doesn't really seem that smart. Okay, I'm gonna... Buy some lumber, I think. Actually, we just need more workers on lumber down here. And I think I am going to just still buy some. It's very cheap, actually. And then let's go ahead and upgrade. Blue. 
Blue hasn't attacked us again for a while. It looks like he might be coming in now. Uh, my army is pretty decent in, on that front, though. That's Lord for sure. Saladin, we are weary of this senseless bloodshed. Tribute to us 1,000 gold as a show of good faith, and we will call a truce. 1,000? I'm inclined to just murder this fat. This faction is like a is would be very easy to kill. So I'm inclined to just say no. But I mean, I also have plenty of gold. Okay. Um. Let's save and then do this. Do I need to? Do I need to get the upgrade? That's where like. Tributes are reduced. Yeah, let's let's get the reduced fee at least. Again, we've got plenty of gold income, so we're all good here. Okay, yeah. Again, my lumber income is the one that's really suffering right now. Chemistry, treadmill crane. That's relatively cheap for what we would like. And then Bracer would be really nice, too. That's a lot of gold. Well, that's fine. We're about to... We're about to tribute some gold here. Uh, wh what's the progress on this? It it's very slow. I think we've got plenty of time for this. I'm repairing this. Oh, I'm out of stone. So if we... Did I say 1,000 gold? <laughs> I meant 2,000 gold. You fucking asshole. Where's my army? It's, a, it's like out here chasing something around, isn't it? Yeah, it was. I was gonna say. Now we're just losing. Now we're just losing, guys. I wonder if, like, he'll actually ally us if we give him, if we give him another 1,000. I mean, I could to I could finish completely walling this in. It's just I find this funny. What a goofy little army we've got here. Okay, if we wouldn't have lost all those workers there. Well, Cyan still hasn't died, so there's that. Okay, Tiberius advanced the Imperial Age. Maybe they'll become our allies, though. I'm not sure. I should probably finish walling this in. Okay, so, again, this is so stupid, but let's try it. Oh, and that he does. You actually need to pay 2,400 gold. That's that's just crazy. Okay, so let's let's get into position. We're gonna move down here now. Um, I I actually need gold. Food's coming into the premium. And then let's get some trebs down here. We can go for this wonder along with our actual army. Which, again, we, I, as far as I can tell, we shouldn't need anything crazy because it said that this this um, faction is a lot more defensive. So that's a positive. I don't have any Arbalisters. This fucking asshole. <laughs> There's gold over here. We're going to need some more gold income, that's for sure. There's gold up here, gold up here. There's a relic. That's the f -hop. I can go and try and take this, assuming he hasn't gotten it already. So yellow is now our main issue. Um, is there any other stone on the map? There's some. It's way up there. Where was that? Up here. Okay, that's gonna take a while, but I 
Yeah, this guy's my ally now. Oh yeah, and I'm out of stone. That's fine. Um, so I'm getting into position. How's this going? It's getting up there, but it's it's slow. I noticed that it was a rel it was it was relatively slow going, so I'm not too concerned. Again, we probably want to get out here pretty soon. Sounds like we're being attacked by wild animals. That's that's what that sound is. Oh my god. Oh, she did it! What a god! Okay, he's gonna get that relic back to town. I do have a trebuchet here now. Let's consider moving forward and actually trying to push in towards this wonder. I suppose I could make boats to do that also. Make galleons. Can make some fishing ships for these. Get some more Mamluks down here. Again, this army is really nothing special, so... But we do need to break in and destroy this uh, this wonder soon. Uh, it, it's possible this wonder is, like, close to the water, and we could have used boats. But I feel like it's maybe too late to transi transition into that now. It sounds like I just picked up some, uh, some sheep. Wait, I have chemistry, but I'm unable to build trade cogs, or did it just finish? Yeah, it did. It just finished while I was looking. Whoa! You fools. Back up. Let them come to us. Wait, don't I have a skirmisher in here or something? Get up here, kill this. That is going to be a problem, I think. Well, we'll see. I mean, I've got the Mamluks in here. It's kind of a mess. I can't really tell if I'm winning or losing. I think I'm losing. They have some boats also. So what is this looking like? Again, there's there's a lot more time. There's there's so much more time for me to for me to prepare for this. So like, let's just chill. I also can just make the boats, I suppose. But I don't know if the bolts will be able to hit the wonder from where they're at. I kind of like these missions where they build a like they just randomly start building a wonder. I think that's kind of kind of silly, but it it makes you play missions in a very particular way, which I appreciate. Okay, so you all back up, and clearly what we need are Mamluks. Like almost exclusively Mamluks, and maybe some skirmishers. All right, so you guys get on down here. More upgrades would be nice, but, you know, not really in the cards for us at this moment. Okay, we're going to start building our own little fleet here very slowly. All right, and then what do we want to add to this? I'm thinking... Oh, I see. They're sieging me down. Go get them, boys. I mean, Hazars could be okay. Why don't we go Arbalisters and then just get a bunch? And again, as long as we can start pushing into this town with, re with you know, relatively soon, we'll be okay. Maybe get a couple more upgrades, which is really going to be gold. There we go. Now our castle is safe. We have some stone income. What a dream. We stole it from our new allies that we paid an ass ton for. Paid an ass ton for our allies, I should say. Okay. What's the wonder status? I'm starting to get a little nervous, but again, it's it's pretty... I mean, once we start making our move, I think it'll be fine. Why can I not seed this farm? There we go. I 
should start moving out towards us now. Some onagers could have been okay here too. Okay, now we have everything we need. I think. I'm trying to like focus on their catapults here. Back up, back up. Focus on the gate. That is so many flipping siege weaponry things. You just stay away from the boats. Who cares? And now go for this. Okay, cool. So now we just got to destroy the gate and then we can walk in and it'll be fine. Ignore that. I guess I could send my boats down there to save us. Speaking of which, let's just make some galleons. Is this gate almost destroyed? Jesus. Almost. So this, this ally I don't think is here to help us in any way. I think he's just exclusively here to... to not be hostile. So Orange never attacked us. Blue now longer no longer will attack us. So now it's only Now it's it's only this last um yellow person which I think is supposed to be mostly a navy. So again, I'm just going to like make a giant navy and take them out and that'll be fun. Let's just run in here and see if we can kill any worker. Oh, it's behind walls. Okay, just back up. Okay, this is fine. Uh, just destroy the wonder itself. I, I, please. It's behind several layers of walls. Holy shit. It's gonna be close. <laughs> Destroy this. Pack it up. Okay, there we go. Now these guys can get into range without getting killed. And we can destroy it. I like how it's behind several layers of walls. All right, you all just leave. They're not building anything else. It's just that easy. So come on back here and defend us against incoming um, yellow attacks. And then with this group, I can start... ...making just more galleons. There we go. Watch it finishes right now. Okay. Now I have to officially kill Orange, which I'll just leave my trebuchets in here and it'll be fine. You destroy their town hall. We'll wait for my army to come back. And yeah, with all of my remaining supply at this point, I'm going to get boat upgrades. Cannon galleons. I don't know if demo ships are really required at this point. Okay. This looks like a solid area of trees that we can expand to. That blue jerk. But you know what? I mean, it was better than having to go and kill him, I think, at the end of the day. So I'll take it. Now let's destroy this and their shipyard, and they should surrender. And what I'll do is set them to neutral, and we can trade with them too. Which is orange. Oh, tributes being free. I should have absolutely gotten that first. Because uh, that was 400 gold down the tubes. Whoops. 
Okay, so I don't really need these army units. I mean, I need an army at home to defend me against potential, you know, yellow sieges like this. Did they destroy all my boats? I think they did. Elite cannon gallon. Can I, got, can I not get fast fire ships? Because it looks like no. Okay, so now everything's going to come down to, like, how how much we can do on the water. Which, unfortunately, is going to be a problem. Fire ships, fire ships, and then galleons. We survived pretty long, though, without having to worry about the... Um, about these attacks. So, like, I think there's a lot of time in between each one. Just keep getting these upgrades. Go for these. So, yeah, so not having fast fire ships is, is a challenge, but at the end of the day, I think we'll be okay. Wasn't there another one, or did we kill it? I think we killed it. Okay, so now it's all downhill from here. Again, it's time-consuming, but I we're, you know, we're doing it. Uh, gold. Let's come and take this. Yellow hasn't really been landing with many troops lately, so that's all well and good. The thing is, this faction is so easily countered by us. They, they don't. I don't see them having any siege weaponry, and it, it would have just, you know, Mamluks. Enough Mamluks, they would have been dead. I guess just this. Okay, now we're trading with them as well. Again, now that I have some fast fire ships to defend me and just make just a ton of galleons. Right, and then gold. Let's sell food, because that's usually at a premium. Yeah, that's good stuff. Okay. Elite cannon galleon. That's what I like to see. Okay, with enough of these, and because they shoot faster, I think we'll be able to start taking out even the fast fire ships. Plus, we've got some fire ships to cover us. Can I garrison my ships in the shipyard to, to heal them? Wouldn't that be cool? I'm gonna guess no. That would be that would be too nice, wouldn't it? Oh god, don't speak to me about demolition ships. Not after not after the last Barbarossa Barbarossa mission. Okay, so we'll have four cannon galleons for siege, and then we're just going to make a ton of normal galleons. That's my plan, at least. I should probably go and start looking for where they actually are. They're clearly coming from the north, so let's go and look and see if we can find them. Let's maybe look over here, too. It's possible if they're on an island that we've run them out of lumber, and they just can't, they can't do anything anymore. Are they building a new one? I love it. I can't even be mad. That's going to take them so long. Wouldn't it be funny if they won because of that? That would just be incredible, honestly. Again, it's sort of unclear to me what we need to do to force them to resign. Same. Let's just move all the way forward. We can destroy the gates and then just allow our units in. I think maybe we need to kill these workers. They only have, they're only building it with two or three workers, so that kind of makes a big difference. Okay, so that's where we're going to start attacking. You can come back, buddy. And let's just pretty much get maxed out on galleons. Might even want to get more sheepyards. They are making an effort to move their... Oh, we okay, we killed one of them. They, they gave up. Just resign. Just, re just resign, you stupid idiots. Uh, they're, they're smart enough to still move their workers. Okay, here. Unpack. We'll kill the remaining towers, and then we'll run in with our other ground units that we have left that were that are defending us from yellow. Where I'm just waiting for ships to build now so we can go and kill yellow. This is just a victory lap at this point. Just pure victory lap. Nah. 
I love how they started building another wonder. Also, I don't know what you boys got to do to force them to, to leave. I think it's because they've got these workers still, but I can't actually kill them. Yeah. You know what? Cannon galleons, come on down here and help us out. It's just so silly. All right, and then this group, why don't we just move you down here? We're at 45 minutes, it's gonna be a full hour before we beat this one because of the conditions of having to get up there with, uh, with a navy, unfortunately. Uh, okay, so. Here. Just cause we're probably gonna have to reinforce some navy. Those are going to be very, very vulnerable, but that's okay. Wait. Did I hear an arch? Oh, it's no, because I, I sent my units down here. Alright. Now destroy this. Where, I had that army. Where is it? Where is it? Didn't I send it down here? Am I crazy? Ah! <laughs> Not like these. <laughs> Just take me. I'll make new ones. Okay. Where did I actually send all those army units? Did they die? I swear I sent him in here. I'm not looking right at him, am I? Nam. Is this locked? Did I lock the gate? No. Uh, they're probably blocked by the trade cards. This is just... This is just verging on stupid at this point. I mean, it's stupid. It's because of my... It's my fault. Believe you me, I recognize that. I need lumber. Super cheap. How is Orange not surrendered? I, I I mean, again, I'm pretty sure it's because they have these few workers, but I don't... I'm not 100% sure. I'll trade cards. You, you fools. You sad, sad pieces of shit. I know, I know what's going on here. Okay. Fucking what? I don't even care, alright? Just make... Just make normal galleons. It's fine. Cool. Okay. We've done it. Can you tell I'm getting a little impatient? Okay. We have a ton of warships. Let's move up and start attacking. So, you all... Mostly because I want to make sure that orange surrenders so that this match will actually end. Because I, I need it to actually end when I think it's going to end. Did I, okay, I think, unless my trebuchets just destroyed them, but I don't think so. Yeah, okay, they're done. Great, so I'm going to roll these things up here, because I can almost guarantee we're going to need a transport ship to bring some units. So let's get two transport ships and then my ground Nam. army into play up here, Nam. because we're going to need to drop some stuff eventually anyway, right? See, I'm about 90% certain we ran them out of... I mean, I've, took, I've taken so long that I've run them out of income. Well, pro well, not food, because there's clearly enough food in the Mediterranean for them to go ham with. Okay, and now this. We can land right there. there a reason that you guys stopped? I asked you to come all the way up here, but you know. It's fine, I guess. I think I'm too close to the edge here so that my, yeah, my units aren't actually hitting the towers. Okay, 
I think this is enough galleons that we could probably just move in and start killing like actual buildings with just the normal galleons. I don't even need these fancy ones. And they shoot 20% faster. What a sieve bonus. Yeah, take that, food income of the yellow faction. You didn't even see it coming. All right, this was like super overkill. This mole was made by Alexander the Great when he lay siege to Tyr in 332 BCE. Let us hope we are more successful. Thanks for the fun facts. Stop, stop this. Just make, just make elite cannon galleons. What did I build here? Oh, these are my transport ships. Okay, that's fine. Slowly getting rid of that. It's just like each shot it takes is probably killing a full uh, ship. Don't even speak to me about us actually making, like, forcing yellow to concede. That's going to be its own thing. There's clearly another shipyard somewhere, so let's go for it. Maybe not. I don't know. I don't actually know. See, like, they just, like, have ships in places. I don't, it's unclear to me. up here. Look at how many get look at how many I have. This is absurd. They're just like desperately trying to take out one keep. To be fair, keeps are pretty beefy boys, but you know. Uh, okay, so let's do this. Thank God for the double transport thing. Roll them up here. We're going to land right in this little location. There it is. Okay. Okay. Island, huh? I mean, to be fair, I didn't need to do this. I could have just killed blue and let yellow keep attacking me because I had yellow's attacks pretty much under control. I really did. They just have a lot of towers in this base, to be fair. ton of towers in here. I mean, I guess they had said, like, this is supposedly, like, the hardest base to break into because of the Alexander thing, but, you know, whatever. I don't know what their knights are doing. I think I have enough Mamluks to take care of those, though, when the time is right. Let's take my cannon galleons and go, like, around the back. Can I do that? Get out of the way. I'm a little confused by what they're doing here, but I'm just going to slowly destroy every piece of their base to ensure that they don't rebuild it. I don't know where they would rebuild it, though, because they're on an island, so they, it's not like they can get away. But I don't think they'll resign until I kill all their workers, so that sucks. I mean, if they're just going to be bugged out, that's fine. I'll let my arbalists take care of them. I keep going. Yeah, I can kind of... I can squeeze my way back through here. Oh, this was, this was something all right. 
I had to reload a couple times, but I, I mean, again, it's kind of like Mission 3. And so you live and learn. It's kind of that kind of type of situation. I don't really see a better way to do things without, you know, going in with knowledge originally. So I take the L and, uh, and we go from there. Don't you fucking dare. All these fucking towers, man. Please. Okay, that's all their towers, I think. It's just this worker, I think. Get her! No, there's so many workers down here. Get them! I feel like the Mamluks should have 100% accuracy, even against moving targets, but I guess not. I, okay, I think they, I think they resigned. All right, well that was something, all right. Once, I was amazed at the nobility of the Saracen warriors. Only a few years ago, they entered battle as gentlemen, bringing with them treasure chests, wine, singing girls, and collections of doves, nightingales, and parrots. No longer. In reaction to European hostility and fanaticism, the Saracens have steadily become more resolute, more bloodthirsty. Their love of art is replaced by a love for battle. Now, in answer to the Crusade, they have adapted their principle of jihad for warfare. The result has been devastating to the Crusaders. The European presence in the Holy Land was finished. Or so everyone believed. So here come the Britons, the Franks, and the and the Teutons, right? Okay, well, I guess this one was fine. It was another really long one, but again, anytime I had to make boats. Granted, I could have I could have been way more offensive with the boats earlier. I got really concerned with the wonder. I was very close. I was like way closer with the wonder than I needed to be. Uh, I, I should have just been more aggressive in general. I think this would have went fine. I was very, very hesitant and teched up way higher than I needed to to actually accomplish anything, I think. Anyway, thanks everyone for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.